Alright, hello everyone. This is going to be my first video for my YouTube account. I'm just going to be showing a lot of content from Clash Royale and most of my gameplay. Um, I will be discussing some certain tactics that I use personally, as well as some tactics that I've learned and um, came across by playing different types of people and watching other people play. Um, I really just wanted to create this account because I really do enjoy um, playing Clash Royale and I um, just really wanted to start a brand new Clash Royale account and kind of track my progress as I go and share it on YouTube for others to watch. Um, with that said, I also will be including some content from my main account. Um, I just wanted to restart because my main account is already pretty developed, as I am, in Challenger 2 right now. Um, so I'll be showing the decks that I use as I progress through Clash Royale and hopefully increase my trophy level. Um, I just want to mostly share and provide some gameplay tips and different things that I use personally so hopefully this will be helpful for anyone who decides to watch this um yeah so thanks alright so I am on my main account right now I'm just gonna go through I'm gonna play a game and I'm kinda gonna walk you through what I'm doing I guess um just explain what's kinda happening and um, I'll explain the deck that I use and why I kind of like it. Alright, so I'm just going to start off putting a witch down at the back, just because I, I like to do that most games when I have that, um, card come up first. Um, and then I just kind of let that go. I put, I'm going to put a bandit on the other side, just because sometimes, you know, attacking both towers works. Just to at least get a hit, but seems like this person doesn't want me to do that, so it's okay. Just gonna put a wizard down, hopefully just get rid of all this stuff. And then I'm gonna put a balloon in front of my wizard and hope that that makes it there. Keep my arrows out just in case. And they're using a ram rider and a valkyrie, so that should be fun. I'm gonna put a valkyrie down just to kind of counter that. My balloon's not gonna make it to the tower, which is okay. And I'm going to throw another witch track down. Okay. And I'm going to put a bandit on the other side again just to see. Maybe we can use arrows this time and actually kill this goblin. Um. Okay. Alright, we did some damage. That's fine. gonna put a wizard back down. Let's try the loon again. Um, the reason I kind of like this deck is, um, first of all, I developed it all by myself. I don't really watch people and, like, use their decks because it's not what I'm comfortable with. I really just like the decks that I use. And, um, yeah, so I kind of put this all together by myself. It is a bit expensive. I'm not exactly sure how much elixir it costs, but I know it's over four i don't know if it's like 4.4 or whatever so it is a bit expensive but it's not too awful i make it work because i'm really not like i'm not using the pekka so much because it costs so much but like i don't know i guess people could see that it's a little bit expensive All right, we're gonna get the tower. Awesome. <laughs> this person just doesn't want me to win, which is fine. It's okay. We got this though. Um. So anyway, I do like using this um this deck. I like all the aspects of it. I mean, Valkyrie counters a lot of things. Skeleton army is like a good defense I guess okay so I did just want to show you guys um 
a game from my backup account that I have. I'm a king level 10, and um, I do use a different deck from my main account, so I did just want to show you guys that um, it's not the deck that's helping me win, it's just the gameplay itself. Um, over the years, I have gotten better, and I really use this to my advantage, and again, I made this deck all by myself. I don't use um, any anything to help me or to influence anything. I just use cards that I like or I have experience with or they just do good. So, um, I actually don't use a skeleton army in this deck. I, I use a witch. And I use other cards that I think are better, which is really good because the skeleton army in my deck on my main account, I think it just sits there a lot because it's just a defensive card. It's not, like, getting me anywhere. So I think not using it on this account has really helped me because I can use another card that can defend equally as well but it can also then be used to help attack. So I really do like that. Um, this game, I really don't know what I was doing. But I think this game kind of proves how I play as a player. Because I really was starting to get behind at the end. But I really pushed through and sometimes especially for me I feel like I'm okay giving up some of the HP on the tower which isn't really a good thing but I do it anyway and you know sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't but it, I mean it worked in this game so that's pretty good um like always I'm kind of attacking both sides a little bit so sometimes um, I just like to attack both sides because I feel like it I get a better um, result so like I said I was losing at the end there if this person had a few more seconds they would have ended up winning but I did end up pulling it off and I got two towers, and they were still trying to attack the king tower, which maybe wasn't the best idea for them, but worked out for me, so. We're gonna go ahead and get right into this game. So, um, this is my new account that I made for you guys, and I do have limited cards in this account because it is brand new. I'm still in, like, whatever, the goblin arena, so... I actually don't use any goblins. I don't like using goblins, but as you can see, I'm kind of just um, using the the knight, and I use the giant and the P.E.K.K.A. as my like big cards that I attack with, and the rest of the cards I kind of just um, use as a defense, and I counter. I like to counter the um, like the P.E.K.K.A. with um, mostly minions because. It's just the easiest, but uh, sometimes I'll use the knight or the archers. Um, this this deck is really basic, so this is just what I have right now. And um, this is just kind of what I'm working with, but hopefully soon we can move up to the next arena and... I will be able to kind of form a better deck for you guys, but for right now I just kind of have to work with what I have. Like I said, I am kind of okay with giving up some HP on the tower if I'm going to gain from it, so I do end up doing that a few times in this video, but that's okay because I do end up getting a lot of HP, a lot more than they do. Um. So,
I'm just going to start off explaining the decks that I use. So for the new account that I created for you guys, I am using um, the Knight, Archers, Minions, Arrows, Mini P.E.K.K.A., Musketeer, Giant, and Fireball. Um, I really don't like this deck that much. It's just basic cards. They don't do a whole lot of damage. I mean, the Mini P.E.K.K.A. and the Knight are probably my favorite. The Arrows do really well, but... Um, I really don't use these cards much after I get some new ones. So this deck ends up being one of my favorites, actually. I use the uh, Witch, Wizard, Hog Rider, Knight, Arrows, Valkyrie, Balloon, and Baby Dragon. And I really like how these cards work together. Uh, like I've said earlier in the video, I don't use a Skeleton Army because I feel like the Witch can counter, um some of the bigger troops with the skeletons that it has, but there are people who use logs or zaps or arrows on that, and that's just when I would put down a card like the Valkyrie or the Knight that can also help aid in that attack. Finally, for my main account, I use mostly max level cards. The only cards that I don't have max right now are the Arrows, Skeleton Army, and my Witch, which are all at level 13. Um, but I also use Max Level Valkyrie, P.E.K.K.A., Bandit, Balloon, and Wizard. I really like this deck. It really helps me. Um, right now, this deck isn't helping me push forward, per se, but it is helping me kind of stay um, in the general area that I have been in the same arenas, but I am still working on developing a deck that is going to help me push forward into Challenger 3, Master 1 and 2, and so on.